What is happening, DIYers? I know it's been a long time since we've last done a video, but things have been crazy since then, to say the least. Anyway, we figured we'd start with a classic unboxing and review of the Halot CL60. Uh, the Halot, the Halot CL60. The Halot, the Halot CL60. Okay guys, I'm super excited to get to the unboxing, but before we do, I just wanna see what Creality has to say about this. So let's go check it out. Okay, the Halot 1 Resin 3D printer. Creality Halot 1 high performance resin 3D printer of a new generation. Awesome. Print size is the first feature, interesting. Oh yeah, we got some good features. Okay, integral light source, strong kernel, efficient slicing new generation operating system okay interested to see that ota online upgrade cool efficient cooling and filtration stock standard these days i guess precision z-axis module that should be cool to look at oh and then a 5.96 inches monochrome lcd okay we got some vids here Ooh, got some fancy imagery Looks like they might have a new reflective system. Self-developed integral light source, high precision. Okay, awesome. Uh, that should be interesting. Probably see it come through in the print quality. Maybe, maybe not. So they're really big on this integral light source, it seems. Okay. The light will be protected evenly on the printing screen through the principal refraction and reflection of light to achieve high precision and uniform printing. Sounds pretty badass, but uh, the question is, is it badass? Okay, and then we've got some product parameters. Interesting. Machine size, pretty much the same as the LD002H as well as the print the machine size itself. Less than 60 decibels. Okay. Decent, decent. Yeah, we've got an easy manual leveling, which I have found on other machines. Machine weight. Okay, nothing too interesting there. Wow, this is uh, pretty tame as far as Creality explanations go, but um, let's have a look at the actual machine. Hopefully that's not as tame. Okay, that was interesting. Time to unbox this bad boy. Finally got my hands on this guy. Been long anticipated. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's pretty. Hmm, lots of foam as usual. What accessories did they give us this time? Okay, we got power cable. We've got our accessories bag. Paintbrush. Hmm. Cleaning. Massive paint scraper. Some Allen keys. Filters. Handy. Recycle the filament. Uh, resin. User manual. Maybe we'll go through that later. Probably not. And a data card. What could this hold? Probably a cat. Maybe a Benchy. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, let's take a closer look. Firstly, we have to admit, the machine looks really good. The classic UV resistant coating on the Perspex in red, really like it. Underneath the hood, we have the classic resin vat. This looks very similar to the LD002H. Got some, some markings for the level, not sure what that actually tells you though. No millimeters. Fit film looks nice and solid as usual. Good sign. And it does come with some spare fit film, which is nice. Started to get used to that from Creality, so thank you, Creality. A nice big knob to hold the build plates in place. I like that. 
Otherwise, the construction looks super solid. Um, very similar to the LDW2H, actually. We do have quite a big linear guide rail and pillar block set up here, which is nice. That looks really, really solid. And we have the TR 8x2 lead screw, standard with the um, flex coupler. That has a film that needs to be removed. Please tear off the protective film before use. Other extras that Creality throw in are the classic resin filter. So for those of you who don't know what this is for and how to use this, uh, basically when you have some resin left in the vat, you can either use their cleaning method, uh, which actually allows you to solidify the last of the resin in the vat and, and scrape it out, which is a little wasteful, if you ask me. You can actually take the last of the resin, pour it out through one of the filters and back into your the bottle and then any hardened uh, little particles get filtered out. So that's quite nice. But yeah, um, overall looking pretty solid. Let's get to operation. Hey. Pow, 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 pow. Nice little intro load up image. Okay, let's do some navigating. We've got a files list. Haven't put an SD card in, interesting. And the settings we have, okay, parameter settings. Ooh, bottom exposure time, light off delay. Exposure time, 30 seconds on the bottom. Okay, interesting. Um, bottom lifting distance, six millimeters. That all looks pretty stock standard. Normal exposure time at three seconds. That is quite fast. Very interested to see what kind of print quality it uh, gives us at, at three seconds. Okay, it's got the classic cleaning function. Very cool, but very wasteful. We'll leave that for now. Okay, we got some Z-axis movement. Okay, some homing and leveling. Gonna need to level this before we print. System settings, wireland, scary. Refresh, language change. What options we got in here? English and Chinese, I'm assuming. My Mandarin's not that great. Device binding, okay. It's probably got to do with the wireland. We'll leave that alone. And then, ooh, some support. Okay, thanks, Creality. Might need that in the next phases. But yeah, all in all, looks pretty good. Let's get this film off of here. Oh, this is satisfying. Yes. Okay, let's get printing. Oh, that's on. Let's raise the build plate What's it doing? oh huh the brake beam sensor is at the top this time interesting Okay, I've realized in the meantime, there's some stuff I can actually do. I need to get my Allen keys ready because I'm gonna have to tighten up this ball plate, I think. I think leveling it with the VAT on is a good idea. That is how I was leveling the LD002H. So I'm gonna stick with that. One Allen key, on yeah, this guy, okay. I have given us at least one correct Allen key. Good news. So far, I'm quite impressed. Must admit, so far I'm quite impressed. Okay, is that it? Are we level? No beeping off the bat. I don't know if it's been muted, but I like that it's not shouting at me. These machines tend to shout. Okay, I'm gonna try and level it, you can't see, but horizontally as well as keep it stable on the build surface. Oh, I can already foresee a problem here. It's gonna take some time. I can't get the Allen key below the resin vat. Might have to bring in. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Okay, so what I like to do, maybe a little overkill, but I like to lightly tighten each bolt on all four corners. Make sure it's held down. It might be a little bit of PTSD coming across from our Wanha days 
where we had to actually modify the build surfaces because they would warp as you tighten them. But yeah, just lightly tighten it down and then with a light little bit of pressure, tighten each screw down nicely until we solid. Okay, looking good. Okay, next would be to lift it again, to put the resin in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Five hour video. Just realized, I don't have any resin. There's no sample resin. Creality. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Oh, this isn't creality resin. Oh, this is our favorite crystal clear from Monica. Awesome. Okay, we're back. Got my nitrile gloves. Uh, you can go the full nine yards and wear mask uh, and protective eyewear, but we live in Africa, so we're not too bothered by that. Okay, let's do this. Add some resin. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, place that down carefully. Let's go. I'm gonna put enough to get to line two. No, line one in the resin bath. It's a lot of resin, man. Whoa, that's a lot of resin. Okay, I think that's enough. Put the lid back on safely. Clean my hands with the filter. Okay, let's see what's on here. Very interested to see what's on here. I'll close that, that doesn't smell too good. Okay. Where are we going? We are going back to files. Okay, so I think the top file was one that was already stored on here. I hope I didn't have to do anything with that. And we have a very long named bottom file. I'm going to select it and see what happens. Oh, copying file. Never seen that before. 18 hours. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's start it and see what happens. This is actually ridiculous. There must be a way to fix this. Ben, hack the firmware, please, bro. You have to modify this firmware somehow. No, I can't. Okay, guys, we're back. After running the test print, I was on the SD card, printed it for a little bit and realized that it's actually a massive calibration print. Uh, did the whole build volume or was going to do the whole build volume and the, the breadth of the build plate. So not really what we were looking for. So things didn't quite go according to plan. Anyway, decided what we're gonna do is slice something a little bit more exciting. So threw up the uh, Creality Hue Blocks Hublox slicer, I think it is. Chucked on uh, the Polypearl torture tower and um, ended up slicing that up and uh, trying to get a decent little print in not too long and did a time lapse for you guys. Better detail and I think it uh, ended up being a better show of, of the printer's ability. So that didn't go according to plan either. Silly me, I uh, ended up not making sure that I selected the Halot CL60 machine, the Halot 1. It was on the Halot Scar, so had to go back up, hopped on the PC, or added the correct 3D printer, made sure the parameters were, were all sorted, brought it back down and, and fired up the print. Came out quite nicely, I was uh, quite happy with the, with the detail. Okay, final thoughts on the Halot CL60. The printer looks great, we've been through that. But importantly, print quality. I think it was quite decent. It had three second layers, nice and fast, and the print uh, came out quite nicely. But yeah, you guys judge it for yourself. We'll put some close-ups of, of the actual print, but I was, I was happy with the print quality. We also got that same HD monochrome LCD screen, so they're stuck to that. We know it works and we know it performs decently. A nice size vat, you could actually 
Do some really big prints with this, decently deep. We've got the same build volume as the LD002H, basically. Odor, odorless um, system, apparently it's odorless. But yeah, they got a nice filter with a fan, so you know, you can supposedly use this machine without there being too many dangerous fumes. But yeah, don't take that as a final safety, a safety word. Definitely not a qualified chemist. But yeah, all in all, we're super happy with the machine and we, we, we like them and we can't wait to see what the, the next iterations are gonna be like. Anyway, that's it from us guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. First video back in a while. Welcome to leave some comments letting us know what you think and we'll check you on the next one.